I'm Barry Trammell. Welcome to our series of Bedlam's Strangest Tales. First it was cold, then it started sleeting, and then the lightning came. The subject being Bedlam, you know where this is going. On November 30, 1985, the Ice Bowl was played in Stillwater, and the players, coaches, and fans who were there only now are starting to thaw out. Temperature at kickoff was 27 degrees, with 11 degree wind chill. By halftime, it was 23 degrees and a minus four wind chill. The green artificial turf turned icy white. It was football on a hockey rink. In the Arctic-like conditions, the teams combined for 11 fumbles. OSU quarterback Ronnie Williams completed just five of 25 passes. Fingers went numb. Frostbite was a major concern. Barry Switzer called it the worst conditions he had ever experienced, and it's hard to imagine worse conditions anywhere. Amazingly, the crowd at Lewis Field numbered 35,000 at kickoff. Even more amazing, 20,000 stayed until the end. OSU's Thurman Thomas, who would go on to play in frigid Buffalo and make the Pro Football Hall of Fame, gained 100 yards on 23 carries. Somehow, OU's Tim Lasher kicked two field goals, and Spencer Tillman ran for a touchdown, and Los Angeles-bred quarterback Jamel Holloway, who said he had never even seen ice that wasn't in a cup, completed four of five passes. The third-ranked Sooners won 13 to nothing and stayed on track for what became the school's sixth national championship. OU won that title in the Orange Bowl, where the only remnants of the Ice Bowl were the teeth still chattering from the freezing game of a month earlier.